This is a pregnant female, Nala. She is ready to give birth. She wails. In the morning, the legs come out. Then more of the body. Then the baby is fully out. It's a little female. She gets a drink from her mother before she collapses. Little Kiara, as she is called. This is Heart of the Life. Nala has given birth to Kiara. Kiara is already first pregnant. She wants to explore, but her mother will not let her since she is so little and vulnerable. She already has a heart of a killer. Since she kills so many little insects and slugs. Her mother comforts her for now. They walk north for a while, and then all of a sudden, an angry tiger male launches himself toward them. The mother slid away, and only the cub left for the tiger to munch on. Angry lion male. The cub gets a chance to run away. The fight is brutal, but the lion male trials. He moves away, with only now the mother unconscious. Kiara, only seven months old. The mother finally awakened. Left with a limp. But she is a lioness. She can achieve more. But she is very severely injured. Her leg is broken. And there's nothing she can do, and there's nothing her cub can do to help. The mother will just have to wait and rest. And wait till it recovers. Meanwhile, off off the coast of Nala and Kiara, Simba, the angry male who defeated the tiger earlier, he moves toward Nala and Kiara. He is the father of Kiara. Kiara awakens. It is late at night. She is overjoyed to see her father. Her mother is still asleep. So Simba goes toward her. He is one of the not commonly of lions because the lion males usually go off on their own and leave the mothers to handle the cubs. But Simba is different. He is more caring than the other males. 
but tonight, he'll be scared away for life. <laughs> Aslan scares him away. Because Aslan has imprinted on Kiara. Aslan is the dominant male of the area. Simba is scared. But only for the moment. Simba runs away. That's with the dominant male on the other side of Kiara and Nala. Simba is in worries. But he moves back toward Nala and Kiara. He needs to protect them. Morning. Kiara is two months old. Ready to start learning how to hunt. She is already excited. Nala, still with her limp, isn't so excited. It just means another working day for her mother. Her mother is not really not very young. But now with the limp, it is harder to hunt. An hour later, Kiara now seems ready to hunt on her own. Nala gives her the gesture, and Kiara leaves. For a while. Oh. A hummingbird is flying ferociously for no reason, but Kiara is below it, determined to catch it. It, it, it falls. Broken wing. It toddles along, but Kiara is too fast for the little bird. She catches it and kills it in one bite. Now she is ready to bring it back to her mother. Her mother is asleep, so Kiara has to wake her mother. Nala wakes up and sees the prize. She feels it to make sure it is dead. It is, and they feast. It's a pretty big hummingbird in this African terrain. Meanwhile, a lone male gorilla is looking for a female to hunt and find. Meaning by hunt, meaning looking for, to make this. He passes old peanut, which looks drunken every day. He is a lone male, too, but he is territorial. Homer flees. He is going up towards the cliff. It's a lone male again. It's Simba. Then he hits his eye on Homer. But Homer has some strength on his side. He gets on top of the cliff. And he jumps toward the lion, knocks him over, and knocks him down the cliff. Homer is pumped with testosterone. Homer doesn't know it, but Simba wasn't going to give up yet. Homer is dead. The loss of Jean passing on comes by and he gives it to Nala and Kiara who are filled with hummingbird. Kiara hears the noise and sees that there is a gorilla at their den. Simba asks if they want to feast. Nala isn't so sure, but she digs in. It looks delicious. While they were feasting, the leopards were staring from the trees above. A strange-looking leopard, a pink one, was the first to come of the clouded leopards. 
the strawberry clown, the strawberry leopard. There's some scratch you can't seem to keep quiet. But Growly and Justice want that gorilla that they're feasting on. He doesn't know how he'll do it, but he will. Growly jumps from the tree, moving as a ghost in the forest. The lions don't notice him yet, but Simba is cautious and territorial. He doesn't see Growly, but then Growly makes one false move, and Simba whaps him and whaps him. He's kicking and kicking him, and then Growly is out, acting unconscious to fool him. He roars with satisfaction and moves away. Simba doesn't know that Growly has strength. He jumps up on the tree and tops the tree. <coughs> Justice didn't make it in one jump because she is a different species of leopard. Scratchy can't seem to shut up again. <coughs> Just tries to hush him. Growly has one angry eye on the lions. A year later, and Kiara seems to be missing. She is out hunting. Not grown up yet. Still a very curious cub. She sees a kangaroo, which is not a very common sight in Africa. But she doesn't mind and charges. The kangaroo is dead. Kiara drags it home to her and her mother to feast upon. Her mother still has a little limp. So it's hard for her to move. They eat. But they don't know that a tiger is also stalking them. A tiger is upon them. But he stays quiet. But Nali, N Nala senses there is something wrong. She looks behind. Sees him. <coughs> but she doesn't mind because he's not doing much. He just roars, but he doesn't do a lot. But this time he charged at the kill. <coughs> Kiara is taking him by surprise and hitting him with the kill. It's not an uh, ugly, it's an ugly fight. <coughs> she drops, leaving the kill to him. Kiara knows she did something her mother will not like. Her mother looks at her with a very angry look. She roars at her daughter. Kiara doesn't understand. She roars again. And Kiara roars back, not understanding what her mother is saying. Then her mother moves toward her, roars and whaps her. And Kiara gets it and then moves away. Her mother realizes it is about time for her daughter to move away. Even though she may be a little young, it is time. Next time on Heart of the Lion, Kiara gets revenge on her mother. And we'll see if Kiara gets her first mate.